Hello and welcome to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. Well, you guys, we have done it. This is the last reading for 2019. This will be our new moon reading. And for those who don't understand, let me repeat myself again. This is not a full reading. Okay, sometimes people are coming, they look at these new moon and full moon readings, think they're getting a whole full-fledged reading, and that's not what this is. This is just a very mini reading just to give you an idea where you need to set your intentions, especially for this new moon, which is in Capricorn, and we also have a solar eclipse that I understand is going to be phenomenal. Um, it's not going to be able to be seen from um, parts of the world. I think the western side of the world, but uh, but those are in the eastern side. I understand you're going to be able to get a good view of it, okay? So just a few uh, announcements. First of all, thank you, thank you, thank you for those who continue to support the channel, you guys. I read all of the comments, and you just don't know how much that blesses me. Um, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Right next to the like, the subscribe button, there's a little bell. Hit that bell, and every time I release a reading, you will be notified. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Lotus Love Tarot 555. Now, just as a reminder, remember that these messages will flip flop. So if it doesn't relate to you, it will relate to your partner. Um, remember, you can apply this to your sun, your moon, your rising, and for some, even your Venus sign. Oh, and hello to our cross watchers out there. Okay, you guys, I have already pre shuffled. I I am just so exci excited that we have gotten to the end of 2019. I'm excited for what the things that's going to happen, not just for myself, but for you too, for 2020. All right, so now we're going to get into this new moon reading, and also the new moon is in the sign of Capricorn. Now, on to your reading. Hello, my Virgos. Okay, let's get right into your reading. And you guys, if you don't know how to set your intentions, go to our New Moon playlist, and there you will find the instructional video on how to do that, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Virgo as they begin to set their intentions for the New Moon occurring on December 26, 2019. What messages need to go forth? Okay. Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Virgo as they begin to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on December 26, 2019. What messages need to go? Okay. Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Virgo, as they begin to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on December 20th. Okay, all yours are sneaking from the bottom. <clears throat> okay, the spirit, divine creative the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Virgo, as they begin to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on December 26th, 2019. What messages they go for for the sign of Virgo? Okay. Okay, my Virgos. Okay, Holy Spirit. Divine create the universe. What messages they go for for the sign of Virgo? As they begin to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on December 26, 2000. Wow. Oh, your cards came up. Fast. Okay. Get right into it. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept help from others. Okay? And codependency. Let's turn this this way. So, addictions are affecting your romantic life and release your ex. Wow. The time has come to clear your energy. So, this is very simple. Um, you need to lean on your friends right now to help you um, through the situation that's happening. Apparently, you are with someone that's codependent too needy, okay, or this could be you, because the energies can't flip-flop, I doubt it, not with our Virgos, but you need to release the energy or the person or 
everything about your ex. What does that mean? It means that, especially for our cross watchers, I don't want you to freak out, um, but you may have to. It all, you know, depends on whatever scenario that, that we're talking about. But you could still be, um, you know, looking at pictures, following your ex on social media, um, texting. You still can be in some type of um, relationship or communication with this ex, okay? You can be in a verbal communication. You can be in a nonverbal uh, communication where you're just looking and not doing anything, okay? But what Spirit is telling you, release all of the energy of the ex, okay? Now, you could be, this is another scenario coming in, you could be with someone that's codependent on, of, on you and you need to release them, okay? You need to just release them and not look back, okay? But regardless of what situation that you're in, you need to let your friends help you. Okay, this can resonate several different ways. Some of you, you may have broken off with your ex, but you're still carrying that energy of them. So you really need to release all of that, especially before you go into 2020. Friendship, make a day for a play day with one or more of your friends. Again, letting your friends help you. So this is just, this is two separate decks now, focusing on friends helping you, okay? Helping you release that, helping you to release that energy, which is good, Okay. Um, your wish is granted. What you've asked for is coming true. So your wish is going to be granted, but you got to do this first. Understand that. This has to take place first for your wish to be granted. Don't get it out of order. Don't think that your wish is going to be granted and you haven't done what you need to do to clean that, clean that, your spirit up, okay? Clean your energy up. Doing your internal work that needs to be done. And in order to do that, you got to admit the truth to yourself and act accordingly. Okay, I mean, that's just perfect. I mean, I don't know how it could not have gotten any more perfect than that. Spirit is saying, if you admit the truth to yourself, you'll know that you, you need to do these things. Okay, you need to do these things. But Spirit says, no need to worry. Okay, but no, the answer is no. And I'm feeling like, no, this person is not the one. You don't need to worry about... It, worry about, you know, well, how are we going to break up and, you know, and what's going to happen if I'm not with this person? Don't worry about any of that. Don't worry about that. But no, you cannot continue with this situation right here. And again, some of you are truly intertwining with your ex, okay? And some of you, you're not, but you're still watching social media or asking family or friends about them or so on and so forth, there's still a tie there and a cord there. You need to break that cord, okay? All right, my loves, if you want to do a private reading, information pertaining to that can be found below. Until next time, bye-bye.